Hi you guys, this is Prophetess Kimberly Hargraves and today I want to talk to you guys about why I gave a shot at love. Why I took a chance at love. See a lot of women, you're hopeful. And then some women are not. They just gave up. Well, guess what? I gave up. I was one of those women. You know, I wanted to hate all men because I was in a horrible relationship. I was angry. I was bitter. I was scorned. I had unforgiveness in my heart. And all it was doing was making me sick, making me stressed out, making me even more angrier. When I said I had rage, I had rage. I remember just uh, going to bed, waking up. I went to bed angry. I woke up angry. I had some. I used to have some expensive dishes, you know, like those dishes you can order on Food Network and stuff like that, and Rachel Ray dishes and uh, Cafalon, and yeah. I'm up here waking up angry, breaking my own china and my silverware, and just acting acting a fool. Why? Because I was in a rage because I didn't sit down somewhere and get delivered I didn't sit down or sat down somewhere you know and allow God to heal me so guess what I hated all men I despised them I did even if a man was to say you know this, this is me three years ago I'm going to be honest and transparent to help somebody even if a man would say hello to me I'm like you know I would like roll my eyes it's, ugh, you know that's how bad I was y'all you know just just the hot mess hurting I know you heard the term hurt people hurt people okay that's true but not all hurt people hurt people see I got to a point where I had to end up praying and this was a key to my breakthrough a key to my deliverance why I gave another shot at love had to end up praying for the one person that hurt me the most ever for the one person that tried to uh, tell on my business you know and cause me to have shame in my life destroy me to slander me I had to pray for them and what would happen the more I prayed for this person the more I felt the love of God in my heart for them and the more I said you know what I don't hate them anymore I actually feel sorry for them amen and that was the key to my deliverance and then you know I decided to do it to do a few things with that okay so I, ref I, I made a decision I will never allow the enemy ever again to make me feel ashamed of my past to make me feel ashamed of who I am today to make me feel ashamed of who I used to be so I begin to testify yep I was a stripper yep I did this I did that okay yep I sure did so the devil has nothing to hold over my head ever I'm free in Christ I made a decision to uh, to never allow anybody to get me to act up in my flesh to get me to act out out of character Amen. So, I forgave that person. And forgiveness is for you anyways. It's not for that person. That person that went on with their life and you stuck. So, I had to forgive them. When I did all that, I gave another shot at love. So, instead of despising all men, because I was there... I decided, okay, God, I'm going to wait on you. I'm going to get healing in my heart. Amen. And when it's time, I know it's time because uh, I know you order my steps. I know that, you know, you'll speak to me. You'll warn me. You know, you'll check me. Something, Lord. I'm going to wait. I'm not going to go out there and um, get in something. I have no business uh, making a mistake again that I can't afford to make God, I'm going to wait for you patiently and that's what I did you know my healing I'm going to be real honest with you didn't happen overnight I, I, 
cried so many times I cried so I cried a lot y'all you know <laughs> I can't even you know tell you how much I cried but I know so wake up crying go to bed crying crying in the middle of the day cry just cry just crying I cried for months and I had to cry I had to get the pain out you know stay in God's presence and allow God to heal me so when the right man came along I was ready I was ready to you know take another shot at love I didn't bring the baggage of my past into the relationship I didn't hold over his head and take it out on him what somebody else did to me I said no I'm gonna come in this you know open-minded I'm gonna give this man a clean slate and we're gonna go from here I'm not gonna be bitter anymore I'm not gonna be scorned anymore I'm not gonna you know not have any trust in you I took another shot at love I put my walls down and I gave it my all see a lot of people to get in relationships and guess what they do they hold back they only give them a, a part of them they figure okay if I give them this man or this woman half of me or if I don't give them all of me then I can't get hurt I can easily withdraw but you got to be willing to take that chance you got to be willing to take a risk you know I, I consider it a risk amen you know give the person a chance and guess what there's nothing wrong with that amen there's nothing wrong with having someone to have your back to support you to love you amen to care for you to be there for you amen to pray for you to have your best interest to guard you to shelter you isn't that's a beautiful thing love's a beautiful thing I know you probably been through some things and you're like man is it ever gonna happen yes it's gonna happen one day when you least expect it some of you already know that God has promised you that person that man or that woman of God that you're believing for it is going to happen you know don't miss your shot at love because you're angry you're scorned you're bitter you're jealous all jealousy does is push the person away further hey man you need to go sit down somewhere and ask God to get that up out of you I used to be so jealous y'all I used to be jealous jealous je miss jealousy you might as well just put that on my last name you know that's how, how I used to be because you know I just been in some relationships where you know I never felt secure in a relationship you know I, and I had lost myself you know if that if that's you that's a red flag God doesn't want that for you God wants so much more amen he wants so much more he wants so much more right so I gave a, another shot at love everything just flowed you know we did have some ups and downs before but overall everything just flowed we were working together which I love amen and I consider him my blessing so when you take another shot at love the person that God has for you can just be your blessing you never know it could be your blessing all right so don't miss out on your blessing because of hurt pain rejection don't rush it either y'all take your time stop looking at your age but like, well I'm in my 30s you know my biological clock is ticking I want more babies I, I, I get that you know it's gonna happen take your time don't rush it allow God to take you through the healing process to heal you from the inside out you know if I was angry and bitter and scorned I probably would be in jail still you know I went to jail before because of I had an anger issue but if I was still that way, I would have been in prison, y'all. And that's not God's will for you. He wants you to have freedom. Amen. You may have sometimes go to prison or jail sometimes for the preaching the gospel's sake, like the apostles did uh, in, in the word. You know, you may get persecuted as a Christian, yes. 
but still believe God and believe for his best amen believe for his best I'm gonna say that again because I, I think somebody else needs to hear this believe God for his best and make a decision to take a shot at love again just because one relationship failed does not mean that the next relationship will fall fail amen so just because you had a counterfeit doesn't mean that this one that you're dating or interested in or the, the man is pursuing you is a counterfeit you know he could be your husband amen or men she could be your wife so don't make a mistake in categorize all people all men into that dog category or all women into that whole category because not everybody's like that there are still some good men out there there are still some good women out there amen and somebody's waiting for you somebody is praying for you somebody you know i'm telling you they desire to have someone just like you just because the last person didn't see your worth they didn't see your value doesn't mean that the next person won't see it you are valuable you are important amen you are valuable and you are important amen so i, I want to pray that you see your worth that you know who you are in christ that you know that you are somebody that you're wonderfully and that you're fearfully made and God did not make a mistake when he made you. But God did a great work when he created you. And I want to prophesy that God is going to allow you to cross paths with the right one in this season. You guys be encouraged. And just like me, my testimony, I gave another shot at love. And God sent me the perfect man. Alright, I love you guys. And I see you guys for the next broadcast.